Hello, my name is Mark Zajac and I'm the CIVIS coordinator at the OISS. Today I will be introducing you to the OISS portal. The OISS portal is one of the primary platforms with which you can interact with the OISS. You can review information that we have on file for you, submit requests of any kind, review communications from our office, and even schedule an appointment with an international student advisor. Each international student should be familiar with how to use the OISS portal as it will be an important tool during your time at Northwestern. You can access the OISS portal directly at oissportal.northwestern.edu. The portal can also be accessed from the OISS website by selecting the OISS portal link at the top of the page. Once you have reached the OISS portal homepage, you must log in. Each student can log in by selecting the login link at the top right of the page. This will then direct you to the Northwestern Online Passport used across various university platforms, where you can enter your NetID and password. If you experience any error when logging in, please contact the OISS via email at intoff at northwestern.edu for assistance. Please do not log in using the non-Northwestern login link. This link is only to be used by students who do not have an active NetID. If you do have an active NetID and log in using this link, it will cause problems with your OISS records. Login guides for the OISS portal are also available via the portal login guides link on the navigation bar on the left of the OISS portal homepage. Once you have logged into the OISS portal, you will be directed to your user homepage. The user homepage will show you your profile, messages from the OISS, and your requests. You can also navigate to your user homepage by selecting the home icon in the top left and then selecting user. Your profile panel will show your basic biographic, contact, and program information. You can select view all to see this information. We also encourage you to upload a photo of yourself, which you can do by selecting edit profile, and then selecting a photo and updating the profile. You can also see additional information under the Information and Address Info tabs. Please be aware that this information is sent to the OISS portal from your university CSER record and cannot be edited by you directly in the OISS portal. If you notice that your addresses are incorrect or missing, please edit those directly in CSER. If you notice that any other information is incorrect, please contact your international student advisor for assistance with making a correction. Your messages from the OISS panel shows all messages sent to you by the OISS from within the portal. The panel on your homepage will display the five most recent messages sent to you but you may select view all messages to see all of the messages sent to you. These messages will include general updates to all international students, as well as specific updates related to requests that you have submitted. Please be aware that responses to emails that you have sent directly to intoff at northwestern.edu or to an OISS staff member will not appear in this section. Your Requests panel will show all requests that you have created and submitted via the OISS portal, as well as the status of each request. Each request will have a unique ID for reference purposes. Requests that are unsubmitted or pending will provide you with the option to withdraw the request if you wish to do so. 
when a request has been processed, it will be indicated with a status of see this process. Please be aware that once you open a request, it will be saved in your requests panel in your user homepage. You can reopen that request again simply by selecting the request name. You can then resume working on this request. Always check your requests panel to see which requests you have already started before creating a new request. Please do not create an additional request if one already exists in your requests panel. You can navigate throughout the OISS portal using the navigation bar on the left of the home page. You can see that there are different sections for new students, current students, and alumni, depending on where you are in the life cycle of your program. The New Students page provides access to requests relevant to new students, such as the immigration document request, which you have already completed, and the check-in request, which you must submit upon arrival to campus. The Current Students page provides access to requests that you may need during your time as a student at Northwestern, depending on your visa type, such as our CPT and OPT requests, our Program Extension request, and our Reduced Course Load request. Finally, the Alumni page provides access to resources relevant to students who have graduated from Northwestern and are working on post-completion employment, such as a link to the SEVP portal to report employment, as well as the STEM OPT extension request. The Schedule an Appointment page allows you to schedule an appointment with your international student advisor. You should only schedule an appointment with your assigned advisor based on your surname or program. For example, my surname starts with Z, so my advisor would be Stephanie. Each advisor's staff page lists the students that they serve. Once you navigate to your advisor's page, you can select the Request an Appointment or Information link and complete the request. Please be sure to click here to request an appointment so that you can see your advisor's availability and select your preferred time slot. It is very important that you know how to properly submit a request via the OISS portal. Today I will show you how to submit the new student check-in request which is required from all new international students once they arrive on campus. To create a request for the first time, visit the appropriate page on the navigation bar. The new student check-in request is found under the new students page. You can then click on the request link and select the appropriate term. For students arriving in Fall 2020, they should select Fall 2020. Before creating a new request, always be sure to check your Requests panel in your user homepage to see if you have already started a request. If you have already started a request, please access it directly through your Requests panel in your user homepage. Once you are inside the request, please ensure that you read and follow all instructions. For the check-in request, you must make sure to update your personal information in CSER. You must complete and submit all questionnaires. For the check-in request, you must upload a copy of your student visa, as well as a copy of your I-94 arrival record. Once completing each questionnaire, be sure that you submit it. 
you must also read and sign the signature documents to show that you understand the requirements for maintaining your student status. Once you have completed all of the steps in the request, you must submit the request to the OISS by selecting the Click Here to Submit Your Request button at the top of the page. The OISS staff will not receive your request until after you click this button. You will receive a confirmation message informing you that your request was submitted. Your request will then be reviewed and processed by OISS staff. Thank you for watching this presentation. I hope that you will now be more comfortable using the OISS portal during your time at Northwestern. Should you have any questions about accessing or using the OISS portal, please contact the OISS for assistance.